On January 21st of 1793, French King Louis XVI was guillotined for treason. How nice. I don't mean it was nice that a man had his head cut off. And frankly, although I don't think Louis was a very good king, I don't think he was a traitor either. He was loyal to the system that he'd inherited. And yeah, he was indecisive in the face of the French Revolution. I'm not sure there was much that he could have done anyway. But honestly, they might just as well have exiled him. I don't think he was going to make a potent symbol for discontented nobles to rally around. Probably he was more used to them dead than alive. But I'm not really talking about Louis here. I'm talking about the guillotine. That's what has my attention, as I imagine it did his in the final moments. Because this bloody symbol of political madness was actually brought into use for the specific purposes of being more humane and egalitarian. I am not making this up. The idea came from a doctor who was a member of the French National Assembly who said that everybody should be punished the same way for the same crimes and that it shouldn't hurt all that much. See, in the old days, nobles got to have their heads cut off with an axe or a sword, whereas commoners went through a much more unpleasant process. They might be burned at the stake or broken on the wheel or hanged the bad way where you strangle slowly instead of having your neck broken. I'm not actually sure how accurate that description is, though it's the conventional wisdom. I suspect in a lot of cases when a commoner was executed, it was either done in a kind of let's get this over with spirit, oh there's the guy right next, or else a certain amount of mercy was shown in extremis. And to be honest, the professional executioners didn't always get it right either. They didn't always get the nobleman's head off with one stroke of the sword. But all that is rather beside the point, because to me, executing people using a guillotine, it's like the electric chair. It's this false ideal of progress, this illusion of technique, that somehow we can make things better by making them more mathematical. You know, no more human touch and executions, just push button, remove bean. Imagine that you are about to be executed, either for something that you've done or because you've fallen into Robespierre's bloodthirsty clutches. Is what's really bothering you the possibility that the last 30 seconds or so are going to hurt? Or is it going to be the prospect of losing the rest of your life, all the wonderful things that you might have otherwise done, realizing how wonderful, perfectly ordinary things were like getting up and eating breakfast instead of being executed? So there you're being taken to the place of execution and the guillotine rises up, not just inexorable, but also impersonal, that there's going to be absolutely no human touch. No, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I want to be burned at the stake. I expect that would be especially horrible. I, the using heat for execution, I think it's why hell is depicted as a fire that burns and burns but never puts you out of your misery. But what I am saying is that in inventing the guillotine, they were digging in the wrong place. That, of course, you don't want executions to be barbaric, but the thought of being dispatched as just one more unit to be processed makes it worse, not better. There's, by the way, a memorable scene in the last book of C.S. Lewis's Paralandra trilogy, That Hideous Strength, where the inventor of a supposedly medically sound and sterile and humane beheading machine is about to be shoved into his own contraption, and his last thought is that he hadn't properly calculated the change in blood pressure due to sheer terror. But it's not the terror of the pain. It's the terror of losing your life and of the indignity of having it done in such a clinical way. So like I say, they might as well have exiled Louis XVI. I don't think he could have done more harm as a living exiled king than he could have done as a dead symbol. But if they weren't going to do that, they might at least have accorded him the honor of having it done the old-fashioned way with an axe. It wasn't more humane to use a scientifically designed machine.